Although Ghana has passed the biosafety law at A31 of 2011 and has as well approved trials for various biotech crops such as BT cow, BBT cotton, nitrogen efficient rice, there are still misconceptions concerning the adoption of the technology. To help clear this misconception and improve upon the understanding of the technology, science students at the second cycle and tertiary institutions within the Tamale metropolis has been sensitized on genetically modified organisms and the need to take up careers in the field of biotechnology to promote development in the region. In an interview, a consultant for biotechnology, Professor Walter Lassan, underscores the relevance of the sensitization campaign among students. Because, um, we have over the few years, in the last couple of years, seen an upsurge in people who claim they know a lot about the times, but in fact, they only change the negative aspects of it. And we think that this is denying the Ghana of a very important science that cuts across all fields, you can see. It's not only in agriculture, uh, in its industry, in health, and so on, but we zero in on agriculture first because our Ghana is an agricultural country. That is has very potent tools that uh, we can benefit from. But if we do not create the awareness, especially in the youth who are coming up in the senior uh, high schools, uh, or senior secondary schools, we used to call them, uh, in the universities, uh, we might lose the crop of scientists who need to take this up and to ensure that Ghana benefits now and in the future. The vice dean at the Faculty of Agriculture and Head of the Department for Biotechnology at UDS Nyapala Campus, Professor Abed Koju Kwenu, noted the need to start education on biotechnology at the grassroots level in order to deal with the misconception people have about GMOs and biotech. But there's a need for us to do a lot of talking and then to put out information there. There's a need for education. And education has to start from the grassroots, which I will describe as the secondary school, up to even the chief executive in any government institution. They all need to be talked to, they all need to be educated on the science of biotechnology. Once that is done, I believe most of them will come on board because that misconception will be erased off. A participant at the workshop shared with Vasa One News how the workshop had contributed to his understanding of biotechnology and GMOs. Um, biotechnology, as people have in quote, put it out there, is not what it really means, especially in the field of GMOs. That when you ask somebody, people say that it is a chemical that is being added to food. But now I have been, um, let me say, the veil on my eyes has been revealed, it has been opened, that it is not as people thought it to be. The program was organized by the Africa Agriculture Technology Foundation in collaboration with the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research and Open Forum on Agriculture Biotechnology. From Nyangpala, Noah Nash, for Vasa One News.